It's me, everyone. Thank you for being a part of the show once more. How are every one of you doing? Through these challenging times, we are here to keep you informed and to provide you with the ability to make your own decisions. What do you say we get right down to business? For the very first time in history, the massive stimulus check update for the state of Colorado in 2024 is about to be examined in great detail. It appears like this year will be nothing short of fantastic in terms of the financial world, and we are here to assist you in navigating any unexpected turns and twists that may come your way. We are about to give some genuinely incredible facts about the 2024 statewide stimulus check update, so make sure you take a seat since we are ready to share your attention. On the contrary, it turns out that there are more than five states. Contrary to what most people believed, there are currently a very large number of states that are receiving a lot of attention. You are more than welcome to accompany us on this thrilling excursion during which we will discuss the remarkable economic advancements that have been made in the states of Arizona, Colorado, Maryland, New Mexico, Michigan, and Montana. Not only is the excitement infectious, but we also have information that is reserved exclusively for you. Are you curious about whether or whether this is just another source of rumor? It is not possible to know for sure. We have access to the confidential material that was published in the most recent story, which was published on January 2, 2024. It has come to light that the statewide stimulus checks that were intended to be implemented during that particular year are, in fact, going to take place. The sudden cash windfalls that occurred were made possible by Senate Bill 1734, which was approved by the 56th legislature the legislature that was in power at the time, after being signed, sealed, and given the go-ahead, it has been released. Individuals who meet the requirements can now receive the benefits that are available. It is likely that the payments associated with the government's stimulus program have been reduced. The money game is not even close to being over yet. It is still in progress. In this section, we are going to discuss the intricate aspects of direct payments, tax credits, and special stimulus checks that are connected to the acts made by state and municipal governments. There has been a shift in the situation, and now we are going to provide you with an update on what will take place in the year 2024. We ask that you remain with us while we discuss the requirements that must be met in order to be eligible, the states that will be awarded cash, the enticing sums that will be up for grabs, and the precise dates of arrival. We are in possession of the keys to the treasure box which is an opportunity to make money that ought to be pursued. Let's begin our tour in Arizona, where Governor K. D. O. has approved a new refund that will be available to almost 743,000 people. The cumulative amount of the return is $750, with an additional $250 being deducted for any dependent who is older than 17 years old. The tax refund for families in Arizona has been the subject of a great deal of controversy, and we are aware of the current status of your rebate payment. In accordance with Governor Hopp's expectations, the most important thing is to make even the smallest amount important. At this point, we are going to switch gears and discuss about the state of Oklahoma. A great number of people in the United States will experience joy as a result of the Caring for Carers Act. There is a possibility that senior family members who get assistance from others could be eligible for tax credits of up to $3,000. If you want to aid those who are in need of assistance, it is more vital to be able to transform their life than it is to simply give them money. There are some veterans and those who have been diagnosed with dementia who may be eligible for an additional $3,000. Within the context of this campaign, we will provide a list of the prerequisites for participation the occupations that will be covered, and the impact that this will have. Whoever lives in the state of California is going to absolutely adore this. In addition to the possibility of receiving a one-time tax credit of up to $3,600, there are other opportunities available to you as well. You may be eligible for an additional tax credit for young children that is worth up to $183 if you are a resident of the state and meet the relevant requirements. Nevertheless, there's a catch to this. In the state of California, in order to qualify for the earned income tax credit, you are need to have a kid who is younger than six years old. Additionally, the days of the party are included in this extensive list of facts and dates. 
It serves as a friendly reminder to submit your tax credit for the year 2021 by the 18th of April in 2025. This will allow you to automatically enroll in the Stimulus Check Boost program. For your enjoyment, Coloradans, when it comes to the year 2024, individuals who are qualified to register on their own can anticipate receiving $847 while couples who file jointly could receive an astounding $1,694, respectively. Everything will be different as a result of the fact that everyone will be required to pay the same amount of taxes, regardless of how much money they make. We will focus the majority of our investigation on the background of the additional $3. 6 billion, the choice made by the state to provide equal rebates to all individuals, and the potential implications that these equal rebates may have for the residents of the state. We have the numbers to illustrate that this is a situation in which everyone comes out ahead. Because of the annual child tax credit, residents of Maryland might be hearing a different melody this month than they were before. Each youngster may receive a credit that is worth up to $500 on their own. It is going to be a hit with parents who have children who are younger than six years old or who have special needs. There are therefore some minimum income limits that must be satisfied. In the following section, we will discuss the minimal income levels that are required for the government-adjusted gross income. The purpose of our presence is to assist you in ensuring that you do not miss out on this remarkable cash display. Checks for rebates of up to $1,000 are on their way to New Mexico, and the time has come for the state to cash in on the opportunity. Nevertheless, there's a catch to this. In the event that you submit your tax return for the year 2021, it is not appropriate to assert that you are required to wait for another tax return by the 31st of May, 2024. It is possible that individuals who do their taxes on their own could receive $500, while couples who submit their taxes together could receive a cool $1,000. These are the times of the year when rebates are available, and we are here to assist you with the application procedure, the requirements that must be met in order to qualify, and the celebration that is waiting for you. It is anticipated that around 700,000 households in the state of Michigan will be eligible for tax rebates that are approximately $550 on average beginning in the year 2024. It is anticipated that the distribution of checks will start on February 13, and Governor Gretchen Whitmer is primarily accountable for this. The rise in the earned income tax credit may result in a reduction for those with higher earnings while residents with lower incomes may receive a few hundred dollars more as a result of the increase. In this section, we are looking into the legislative changes, the anticipated time table, and the impact that these changes will have on the ability of the residents to keep their financial security. For your participation in a financial spectacular, you have been requested to take part. Republicans are pushing for a more targeted strategy which involves making adjustments to the income levels in order to ensure that the relief is allocated to those who are in the greatest need of it. This is part of the Republican Party's effort to accomplish